Okay. How's it going? Happy New Year. This is the time of the new year, a transition of what we're going into in the year 2020. A lot has happened in the year 2019. Uh, and I just want to share a little bit of the accumulated knowledge and understanding that I have um, been learning over a very long time. Um, but I'm going to share what, with what I can by the Spirit of the Lord from what's in my heart. Um, and I've, I've prayed it out. I'm, um, I'm, I've prayed for God's guidance and I pray that this is exactly, um, what needs to be heard and revealed and, um, received. And so, I mean, one of the things that, um, that I see that people have an issue with is receiving from God. Um, and so there's a lot of complaining, like, where is God? Well, part of it is you're not receiving from God. You have to be a good receiver, um, to, uh, to learn and receive the revelation of God. So those who know how who um, receive um, can receive the word of God, the spirit of God, um, and re revelation of who Jesus is, of what he did on the cross for your sins, um, and you receive the Holy Spirit. Um, so it also actually says, I've been drawn to this um, verse. It's been coming up a couple times. Psalms uh, 34, 18 talks about that God um, draws near to the brokenhearted and those who are crushed in spirit. So God draws to you when in your brokenness, when you call out to him, when you cry out to him. And I hear, I've heard from my teacher, I'm going to quote my teacher a lot, actually. And um, in brokenness, that's like one of the first ingredients of coming to receive the full salvation power um, of God's spirit is in the revelation of who Jesus is and the revelation of who God is and coming into a relationship with him actually is brokenness in our brokenness when we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, which is in Philippians. Um, I'm just going to be quoting. I'm not even, I'm not even reading from the Bible, but I'm just going to quote. When we humble ourselves in our brokenness and we come to God, that's when we draw near, that's when we experience him. You have no idea. I, or pro you probably do for some who are just learning more about God. Um, that's actually a very powerful, um, powerful uh, criteria of receiving His Spirit, of receiving the fullness of Him. In our brokenness, we have to come to Him in humility. Um, and so even though we are created in the image of God and what Jesus did, He died on the cross for our sins, and He also restored us back to the image of God. He restores back uh, to, uh, to our relationship with God. So it's all about relationship. It's not about religion. I have to say this. It's not about religion. It's about relationship. This is spirituality. And all the spiritual alternatives, uh, talking about astrology and Buddhism and all these ideas um, of magical arts and witchcraft, whatever, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, not the, it's nothing close to the actual power and demonstration and the spirit of God and receiving the peace that comes from him because Jesus is considered the prince of peace as he's described in, in the book of Isaiah. Um, he's also the mighty counselor. He's also the king and he also is our brother and our friend. That's what he says. When we receive uh, Jesus, his word, and we believe in him, we actually become his friend. And we also um, bow down to him uh, because he is our king as well. However, we get to share in the glorious inheritance that he had already pre-existent. So Jesus is the pre-existent one. He was, al he was already with God. And so he came in the flesh uh, as a baby, born in a manger on the, on the, on, in Bethlehem. And so Jesus is actually, um, is, it also talks about the Bible, all of creation is tied together by the love of God and is tied together by Jesus himself. And Jesus is the demonstration of the love of God. So Jesus dying on the cross for our sins was for us. It wasn't, it wasn't for him. Well, part of it, yeah, it was for him bringing his people back to him, to himself, bringing back humanity to himself. Uh, and it was planned out already. It was planned before the foundation of the earth, before creation was even spoken into, uh, into existence. They already planned. The heavenly host, the uh, triune God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, already planned out to have Jesus crucified on the cross, which is why in the law, in the Torah, 
Jesus, uh, um, or the Word of God actually, who is Jesus, Jesus is the Word of God, um, cursed the tree, and then Jesus put himself on that tree, which is the cross. So, um, I wanted to just talk about drawing closer to God, especially in this new year. So, the prophetic word, uh, just to catch up, this is what I feel like God has been telling me so a lot of the body of Christ and even new believers, you need to catch up. Everything is being accelerated right now. We're living in a very exciting time. The next moves of God is here. It's already here. As it says in Isaiah 43, um, I think 10 or 11, it talks about that God is doing a new thing and he's going to make a, a way in the wilderness. He's making a way for you, and and what's happening is already begun. He says that it's already begun, but that scriptures are being applied right now. He is doing a new thing. He's already begun. It's already happening. If you if you notice it or not notice it, but now you can notice it more. Uh, like even right now, you're receiving the revelation of what God has done for you and what God is doing for you. He's doing something new. And this year, the prophetic word and. It, this, this, I'm just passing that, passing down knowledge. So I've done my research. I'm giving you what I've accumulated in knowledge and in in, the, in my understanding. Um, the prophetic word that we've received is that 2020 is a year of 2020 vision of clarity. God is going to clarify things, and He's going to show you and reveal Himself to you. He's going to reveal His character to you. He's going to reveal His love and His grace, and it's going to be amazing. So these are very exciting times to be in. Um, and he is, he is working all over the world. In fact, the other prophetic word that I think I, I've, um, shared before is that God wants, um, three major places. He's working all over the world, but three major places, places needs to come into the kingdom. That is, um, the Middle East, China, and Russia. Those places are booming with Christianity. Um, the, uh, the body of Christ is, is um, expanding. The kingdom of God is advancing. And uh, uh, the truth is being revealed to many. Even in Iran, it's blowing up like crazy. So many more believers in Jesus Christ. Muslims are actually receiving Jesus in their dreams. They're having uh, visions and dreams of Jesus. They're coming. Uh, Jesus is actually showing up supernaturally. And, and, uh, pe and people are being saved all over the place. So, yes, it is saved. Salvation. People need to be saved. We need, we need salvation. Um, saved from what? Saved from hellfire. Because when you reject God, when you rebel against him, when you do your own thing, when you, when you, when you just stay in your sin, uh, you're rebelling against God. You're not going with him. So with him is with the spirit of God, with his truth, with the reality of his kingdom. He has a kingdom. This kingdom is beyond this earth. It's beyond this earthly realm, so there's another realm, there's another dimension in which God dwells. It's called eternal life. He lives in eternity, and he has a throne. And on, he sits on his throne, waiting for his enemies to be his footstool. Um, and so Jesus is actually sitting at his right hand right now because of what he did on the cross. Uh, he has that honor. And so guess what? We also, as believers, sit with him. We sit with him in the heavenly realm, in the kingdom, in the, on the throne room. We actually sit next to Jesus, who sits next to God the Father. Uh, and so when we pray, which, is, which I've learned, which transformed my uh, prayer life completely, is that you pray from the throne room of God. Not as it is a distance away, so far away in a distant land, no. We actually pray from the throne room of God. And so when you come to this revelation, you speak from with authority. You speak with dominance. And so even uh, with um, uh, the covenant of Abraham with the Israelites, um, they, were, they were told that they would be the head, not the tail, that the nations around them would borrow from them. Now, as Christian believers, we actually get the covenant of Abraham, but we also get the new covenant as well. We have the new wine, the new covenant, um, new things, and it's even better than from what it was before. But we also get all the benefits from that from then as well. So, um, <sighs> what do you want me to say? The video is already long enough, but I just want to bless you in the name of Jesus. I, I thank you, God, that you are leading them, you are guiding them, that you're revealing your character, that your, your fathership, that you want to build our character, that you want to build us up in the spirit, in spirit and in truth. And I thank you, Lord, that we can come to you in humility, that we can come to you and be filled 
by you. In Jesus' name, God bless. Amen.